I coped with anxiety. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Breanne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I just share with you my perspective and how I have lived my life. Well, first of all, I'm cooking in the kitchen because we're preparing for a possible potential snowstorm here in the South. And since our electric was off for three days with a power outage due to an ice storm, I want to be prepared. And so my kitchen's a little bit messy here. So I got to thinking about anxiety and how I have dealt with it. I was watching an interview about a very famous actress and she talked about how she had dealt with her own anxiety throughout her life at different levels for different reasons and different ways. And it got me to thinking about how I had coped at different levels and at different times of my life with anxiety of one sort or the other. You know, I've been through and as many people have in their life, a few traumatic events. And um, I've had my share, and I think a lot of people have. And it's easy to let uh, what has happened in the past affect our present and our future. Sometimes, to some degree, it can be normal um, when we are um, right after we've been through something. But if we continue to let it um, be our normal and continue to have anxiety after, long after, um, that can pose an issue. And so for me, I remember one time in particular, I was around 20 years old, living in the Los Angeles area, and I went through a traumatic event. And after that, um, whenever I would hear a noise, I would just jump. I would just jump. And it took me about two years to get past that. And I had a lot of anxiety due to that event that I went through. Back in those days, and that was in the 70s, there wasn't a lot I don't even know if there was the term PTSD, but probably that's kind of what I had. But I also had a lot of anxiety that it could happen again. And um, and so um, for me, um, you know, having dealt with that um, and it created anxiety in me. Now, other people can have anxiety for different reasons. Sometimes it's low level anxiety. Sometimes it can be, you know, a higher level of anxiety. For me, what I have learned throughout the years, for me personally, is I take a step back. And especially if I identify something as an unhealthy fear, which most fears in my belief are unhealthy, um, only um, certain kinds of fears could be healthy and used to protect us. But beyond that, um, I think most fears uh, tend to be unhealthy or a response to something that has happened or taken place along the way. So I try to address those fears, those anxieties to the best of my ability. Um, some people get professional help. Um, for me, I, um, I, I've learned to recognize when I'm feeling a certain sense of anxiousness about something, I identify it and I do my best at, for me personally, I call myself a fear fighter, kind of moving through it in the right way. Um, not everybody would, would respond that way or do it that way. That's just my way of doing it. Um, I realize that that anxiety um, can happen to almost anybody or to anyone. And it's in how we handle it, whether we let it um, completely let us fall apart or whether we pick up and we move through it to the best of our ability that can determine how we get through it. So I'm just coming on here not to give advice or suggestions or anything like that, but just to share with you all that I too, throughout different parts of my life, different times of my life, I mean, even, you know, today, I could have anxiety and um, and yet I make sure to remind myself that um, I will make the best decisions that I can and I'm going to enjoy life and so I don't want chronic anxiety or anxiety to become a way of life for me so I stay focused to the very best of my ability on facing my fears, moving past them, through them, whatever I have to do, sideways, whatever, and getting on with my life and focusing on the great things in my life. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe to all five channels. Links are pinned at the top of the comment section below, and I hope to talk to you soon again. May God bless you. Bye-bye.